Hey guys, welcome back to Eating with Eldine. Today we are going to be throwing down some bomb ass tuna pasta salad. I don't know about you, but I love me a good tuna pasta salad. So I have a really quick and easy recipe that you can put together just using shit that's in your fridge. So let's get right into it. <music> So let's get right into the recipe. This is just something really, really quick that I was craving, so I thought I'd record it. Starting with a can of tuna, I'm just gonna throw that in here. So I use tuna that's always in water, just cause I don't kinda like the greasy mouthfeel that comes with tuna in olive oil, but again, it's definitely your preference. To tuna, I always add a little bit of vinegar, which just helps cut the fishy smell and the fishy taste, cause it can be pretty overbearing, and like when you open your tuna in public, like, if you don't put the vinegar, it smells way too strong. So I'm just thoroughly mixing the vinegar into that. It's just about like a tablespoon or so. So in here, I have a little blend that I made up of uh, some spices, which I'm not gonna share yet because I'm working on it, but I just have some spices in here. You can use whatever you want. Okay, I'll tell you what I put in it, but I won't tell you the quantity. There's onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, and black pepper. Um, to this, I'm adding a scotch bonnet. Okay, this is where I fucked up. This scotch bonnet was so hot and I only used half of it and I do not use the seeds when I'm cooking with it because I just want the flavor. This shit was hot, so definitely don't add the scotch bonnet if you don't want the heat or use less because I don't know what was going on. Uh, to this, I added about half a cup of chopped red peppers. Tossing this up. Again, like tuna pasta salad is kind of just something that you go with it. Whatever's in your fridge, dash it in. To that I'm gonna add a half a cup of green onion, mix everything. Notice I'm mixing everything after I add it. That way it's just properly incorporated. It tastes much better this way. I'm mixing that up. And to that I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of green carrot. So this is just like half a carrot. Again, these measurements are very, very loose. I'm just telling you so you have an idea, but like you can do as much as little as you want. I should have used two cans of tuna for this because I bodied this. This is one of the best tuna pasta salads I've ever fucking made, minus the heat from the scotch bonnet. But the flavor was on point. So now I'm adding a little bit of mustard. I don't know if that's just like a me thing, a trini thing, a Caribbean thing, whatever, but I like a little bit of acidity of the mustard. Not too, too much. You'll know if you put too much because the color will change to like a really yellowy tinge. You just want a bit of acid to cut the richness of the mayo, which I'm gonna add in next. So I'm adding some mayo here. This was probably about half a cup, maybe a quarter to half a cup of mayo. Actually, no, I lied. It's about a half a cup of mayo because I put in about a quarter cup now, and then once I added the pasta, I needed a bit more to moisten it. So now I'm fully mixing this through, fully, fully mixing this through. So I'm just making sure the mayo and the mustard and all the seasonings are fully incorporated here because it's really gross to bite into like a pocket of like just mayo or something. Keep in mind, we are gonna be adding mayo in once I add the pasta. And definitely add vinegar to your tuna. Add vinegar, it will cut the fishiness and you will just do it every time, it's amazing. So to this, I have about three quarters of a box of tri-colored rotini. I love rotini for tuna pasta salad. I want a type of pasta that I can pick up just easily in my fork. I know a lot of people like using shells. I never fucking have shells, so I just use this. Again, I'm trying to get you guys comfortable with just kind of cooking with whatever you have. So I was really, really craving this. Been in my house, so I'm like, you know what? Let me make this and let me just film it for you guys and show you guys what's up. Also, I don't know that many black people that actually eat tuna pasta salad, so I kind of want to show you that it's not weird because I've seen people put things in it that I personally wouldn't like and I could see it could be off-putting like raisins, no, apples, just things you don't necessarily want with fish. So I'm trying to show you, you can have a nice flavorful spice if you want well-seasoned tuna pasta salad. So here I'm adding in a bit more mayo because this shit was a little bit too dry even for me and you can adjust the mayo to your liking. Again, you like that shit wet and creamy, sop it up. You like that shit dry as fuck, leave it dry. Literally, <laughs> it's all your prerogative. You can even make this warm if you want. You can omit the mayo and basically do all the same things here and add a little bit of olive oil and heat that up. That will actually be really nice. 
so this is looking really really good just kind of mix everything to your liking no rules here going with the flow I tried a bit of it just to uh, adjust the seasoning and see how I liked it and at this point I was like yes this tastes fire I also knew I fucked up with the scotch bonnet but that's why I'm showing you guys what's up so again if you're using scotch bonnet definitely don't use the seeds I did not use the seeds but this was still hot and here is when I added in the salt. I typically add salt in the end, especially when I'm making cold dishes. I add the salt in the end because sometimes you just can't get a good grasp of the seasoning level when you're still adjusting things. So I would again recommend adding the salt after you add the mayo. Going in for one more taste here. Make sure you guys taste your food often. And boom, this is done. Yes, yeah, super, super quick. Like, see, I didn't even I didn't even chop up this video. I'm just talking over how I made it. So this is like a, what, a six minute dish. You guys could put this together quick. Boom, tuna pasta salad in your ass. <laughs> Thanks for watching this quick video of a really, really bomb tuna pasta salad. It is well seasoned, it is flavorful. There's no apples or raisins in this shit if you don't like that. If you do like that, feel free to add it, but just go with the flow, guys. Get creative in the kitchen. Use whatever you have on hand. And thank you for joining me eating with Aldine. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.